Good day, this is Ann Windsor, and today I would like to do a reading and share with you from God's Will to Heal by Keith Moore. A hundred and one things God said. How do we know whether it's God's will to heal us or not? It makes little difference what others say about it. What did he say about it? Remember that God is no respecter of persons. Acts 10.34 And he never changes. Malachi 3.6 so what he said to them yesterday, he is saying to you today. Say this with me. God's word is God speaking to me. Oh my, my. Isn't that good? What he said to them yesterday, he is saying to you today. God's word is God speaking to me. A hundred and one things God said. We begin with the Old Testament. In Exodus 15.26, God said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. Genesis 6 3, and your days shall be 120 years. You shall be buried in a good old age. Genesis 15 15, and you shall come to your grave in a full age, like a shock of corn cometh. In his season. Job 5.26 When I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague, any plague, shall not be upon you to destroy you. Exodus twelve, thirteen. God said, I will take sickness away from the midst of you, and the number of your days I will fulfill. Exodus twenty three, twenty five and 26. I will not put any of the diseases that you are afraid of on you. But I will take all sickness, all sickness away from you. Deuteronomy 7.15 It will be well with you. Ha ha ha. God said, It will be well with you. And your days shall be multiplied and prolonged as the days of heaven upon the earth. Deuteronomy 11. 9 and 21. God said, I turned the curse into a blessing unto you because I loved you. Deuteronomy 23 5 and Nehemiah 13 2. I have redeemed you from every sickness and every plague. Deuteronomy 28 61 and Galatians 3 13. As your days so shall your strength be. Deuteronomy 33.25 Oh, did you know? I have found a ransom for you. And your flesh shall be fresher than a child's. And you shall return to the days of your youth. Job 33.24-25 I have healed you. And brought up your soul from the grave. I have kept you. I have kept you alive from going down into the pit. Psalm 30 verses 1 and 2. 
God said, God said, I will give you strength and bless you with peace. Psalm 29, 11. I will preserve you and keep you alive. Psalm 41, 2. I will strengthen you upon the bed of languishing. I will turn all your bed in your sickness. Psalm 41, 3. Oh, God said, I am the health of your countenance and your God. Psalm 43, 5. And no plague shall come near your dwelling. Psalm 91.10 I will satisfy you with long life. Psalm 91.16 And I heal all your diseases. Psalm 103, verse 3 I sent my word and healed you and delivered you from your destructions. Psalm 107.20 You shall not die, but live and declare my works. Psalm 118.17 Oh, and I heal your broken heart and bind up your wounds. Psalm 147.3 Oh, the years of your life shall be many. Proverbs 4.10 Trusting me brings health to your navel and marrow to your bones. Proverbs 3.8 Oh, my words are life to you. And health or medicine and medicine to all your flesh. My words are life to you. And health. Medicine to all your flesh. Proverbs 4.22 Oh, my good report makes your bones fat. Proverbs 15.30 And my pleasant words are sweet to your soul and health to your bones. Proverbs 16.24 My joy is your strength. Oh, remember, a merry heart does good like a medicine. Nehemiah 8.10 and Proverbs 17.22 God said, The eyes of the blind shall be opened, the ears of them. The eyes of them that see shall not be dim. Isaiah 32, 3 and 35, 5. The eyes of the blind shall be opened, the eyes of them that see shall not be dim. Isaiah 32, 3 and 33, 5. The ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. The ears of them that hear shall hearken. Isaiah 32, 3 and 33, 5. I said, The tongue of the dumb shall sing. The tongue of the stammerers shall be ready to speak plainly. Isaiah 35, 6 and 32, 4. Oh, the lame man shall leap as a heart, a roe, a deer. Isaiah 35, 6. God said, I will recover you and make you live. I am ready to save you. Isaiah 38, 16 and 20. I give power to the faint. I increase strength to them that have no might. Isaiah 40, 29. And I will renew your strength. I will strengthen you and help you. Isaiah 40, 31 and 41, 10. And to your old age and gray hairs, I will carry you and I will deliver you. Isaiah 46, Oh, hallelujah. I bore your sickness. Isaiah 53, 4. I carried your pains. Isaiah 53, 4. I was put to sickness for you. 
Isaiah 53.10. Oh, and with my stripes, you are healed. I will heal you. Isaiah 57.19. Your light shall break forth as the morning, and your health shall spring forth speedily. Isaiah 58, verse 8. I, the Lord, have said, I will restore health unto you, and I will heal you of your wounds. Jeremiah 30, 17. Oh, behold, I will bring health and cure, and I will cure you, and will reveal unto you the abundance of peace and truth. Jeremiah 33, verse 6. And I will bind up that which was broken, and will strengthen that which was sick. Ezekiel 34, 16. Oh, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live, and I shall put my spirit in you, and you shall live. Ezekiel 37, 5 and verse 14. Whithersoever the river shall come shall live. Oh, they shall be healed, and everything shall live where the river comes. Oh, yes. The river, the Spirit, and the Word. God has said, Whithersoever the rivers of the Spirit and the Word shall come, shall live. They shall be healed, and everything shall live where the river comes. Ezekiel 47 9. Seek me and you shall live. Amos, chapter 5, verses 4 and 6. Oh, I have arisen with healing in my wings. Malachi 4, 2. The New Testament, beginning with Matthew 8, 3. Jesus said, I will be thou clean. Matthew 8.17 I took your infirmities. Matthew 8.17 I bore your sicknesses. Matthew 9.12 and Exodus 15.26 If you're sick, you need a physician. And I am the Lord, your physician. I am moved with compassion toward the sick and heal them. Matthew 14, 14, I heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Matthew 4, 23, according to your faith, be it unto you. Matthew chapter 9, verse 29, oh, behold, I give you power and authority over all unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Matthew 10, verse 1, and Luke chapter 9, verse 1. I heal them all. Matthew 12, 15, and Hebrews 13, 8. As many as touch me are made perfectly whole. Matthew 14, 36. Healing is the children's bread. Matthew 15, 26, healing is the children's bread. Mark 7, 37, I do all things well. I make the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Mark 9, 23, Mark 11, 23, and 24. When hands are laid on you, you shall recover. Mark 16, 18. My anointing heals the brokenhearted and delivers the captive 
recovers sight to the blind, and sets at liberty those that are bruised. Oh, that's so good. My anointing, Jesus said, heals the brokenhearted, delivers the captives, recovers sight to the blind, and sets at liberty those that are bruised. Luke 4.18, Isaiah 10.27, and 61.1. I heal all those who have need of healing. Luke 9.11. I am not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Luke 9.56. Luke 10.19, Behold, I give you authority over all the enemy's power, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Luke 13.6 and 2 Corinthians 6.2 Sickness is satanic bondage, and you ought to be loosed today. John 1.4 In me is life. I am the bread of life, and I give you life. John six thirty three and 35 The words I speak unto you, they are spirit and life. John six sixty three. I am come that you might have life, and that you might have it more abundantly. I have come that you might have life, and that you might have it more abundantly. John 10.10 John 11.25 I am the resurrection and the life. I am the resurrection and I am the life. John 14.14 If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Acts 3.16 Faith in my name makes you strong and gives you perfect soundness. Acts 4.30 I stretch forth my hand to heal. Acts 9.34 I, Jesus Christ, make you whole. I do good and heal all that are oppressed of the devil. Acts 10.38 My power causes diseases to depart. My power causes diseases to depart from you. Acts 19.12 The law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made you free from the law of sin and death. Romans 8, 2 The same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead now lives in you. And that Spirit will quicken your mortal body. Romans eight eleven. Your body is a member of me. 1 Corinthians 6.15 Your body is the temple of my spirit, and you're to glorify me in your body. 1 Corinthians 6.19 and 20 Your body is a member of me. 1 Corinthians 6.15 Your body is the temple of my spirit. 1 Corinthians 6.19 If you rightly discern my body, which was broken for you, and judge yourself, you'll not be judged and you'll not be weak, sickly, or die prematurely. 1 Corinthians 11, 29-31 1 Corinthians 12, 9 I have set gifts of healing in my body. Body of Christ. My life may be made manifest in your mortal flesh. My life may be manifest in your mortal flesh. 2 Corinthians 4, 10, and 11. 
I have delivered you from death. I do deliver you. And if you trust me, I will yet deliver you. I have delivered you. I do deliver you. And if you trust me, I will yet deliver you. 2 Corinthians 1.10 I have given you my name and have put all things under your feet. Ephesians 1, 21 and 22 I want it to be well with you, and I want you to live long on the earth. I want it to be well with you, and I want you to live long on the earth. Ephesians 6, 3 Colossians 1, 13 I have delivered you from the authority of darkness. I have delivered you from the authority of darkness. Second Timothy 4.18 And I will deliver you from every evil work. I tasted death for you. I destroyed the devil who has the power of death. I wash your body with pure water. Hebrews 10.22 and Ephesians 5.26 Oh, so lift up the weak hands and the feeble knees. Don't let that which is lame be turned aside, but rather let me heal it. Hebrews 12.12 12 and 13 Let the elders anoint you and pray for you in my name and I will raise you up. James 5, 14 and 15 Also, pray for one another, and I will heal you. James 5, 16 By my stripes you were healed. By my stripes you were healed. 1 Peter 2, 24 My divine power has given unto you all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of me. My divine power has given unto you all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of me. Second Peter 1 3. Revelation twenty two seventeen. Whosoever will, let him come and take of the water of life freely. 3 John 2 Beloved, I wish, I desire, above all things, that you may be in health. 3 John 2 Beloved, I wish above all things that you may be in health. Oh, hallelujah. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Certain verses here have stuck out to you as I've read them. I just encourage you to write them out. Go back and listen. Just stop the video. Write them out. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a usually a transcript that comes up. If you hit the more button right under the picture, the page drops down, and if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see transcript. And if you click on that, then the transcript of what I've just read will open. And you can read it along with me, or you can go back later and go down to a certain time for a certain verse and write it out for yourself from the transcript that's written. Well, hallelujah. God bless you all today. I pray this reading has been an encouragement to you, that it will be an encouragement to you, and that God's word will be quickened in your heart and bring life to you. Not just physically, which these 
particular verses are directed at physical healing, but also healing for your mind, your will, and your emotions. God bless you all. This is Ann Windsor. Check in with you again.